So last, so, okay. So this weekend I spent time rearranging my office, making more room behind me so I could have this set up. I have a, a new camera behind me today. Oh, I forgot to run the cable. Nice. Whoops. I need some more cable ties. <laughs> it does make things better. Hey, 8-Bit. It's not just you. Everything's been feeling off. Yeah, like, just having a couple nice days, like I'm working out and being more productive around the house. I'm not just sitting and staring at my screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, new order. It's like, it's like, uh, my, it'd be like high 70s later this week. I'm down for that. And I'm off on streams on Saturday, which is like the nicest day of the week. So I am ready for it. But yeah, this weekend I spent time, I put in some new lights, rearranged my office a little bit, cleaned it up. It gets dusty so fast. And then uh, hooked up the steering wheel. Well, I did that a different day, but uh, after one of the MVP summits, I hooked up, I, I posted a picture in Discord under live and on Twitter if you want to see it. I have like a stand for this racing wheel. So I hooked that all up uh, one night last week. And then last night, I took video of my setup with the wheel behind the scenes. If you can, if you're on TikTok, or even if you're not, you can still see it. Check out my TikTok. It's the latest one. Hit the like button. It helps. It helps if you put a comment, even if it's just like, cool. It helps. <laughs> Uh, so what I found with the t a TikTok algorithm is that whenever I post a product that I was given, not something I bought, it doesn't hit the for you page. It seems as though it only reaches people that were already following. You mean video games are considered fun? They're also work. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, I mean, it's like sometimes they do feel like work or... You have that dilemma of like, what game should I play for myself and which one should I leave for stream? That's also like a debate. So it's like, I'm, I'm getting better though at leaving some games for myself because when I do stream them, I'm talking and reading chat and not paying attention. So, all right, so here's the deal. Look, I got the setup here. So no, I'm here. So you can see the wheel. Um, You can kind of see the pedals. So occasionally you might catch like a foot. Look, there's a foot. <laughs> I have feet. Just FYI, I do. I have legs too and a feet. So yeah, so. Oh, that was loud in my ears. Yeah, so I thought I'd do this so you could kind of see the wheel. Isn't this a good setup? Uh, and so like this wheel and the pedals are on like a stand so that when I'm not streaming, it's heavy AF, but I just take it and move it over there. I don't have to reattach it to my desk or something like that. Uh, you have legs and feet. Yeah, you can see my ugly shoes I'm wearing. They're like orange. These are my in the house shoes. <laughs> um, okay, so first off, uh, if you didn't see on social, uh, Logitech G sent me over this wheel to try out. And I, I did have the G920 the Sidecar Crew had bought for me a couple years ago. And I re-gifted that one to another community member. Uh, and then they sent me this one, which is the newer version of it. It's like, in many ways, it's it's similar if you've ever used the 920. Uh, the wrap is a little uh, different. It's a little smoother. I mean, it still has texture. I don't know if you can see it in this video, though. Um, but it has the main thing, though, is that it has this thing. It's called True Force. And if the game supports it, it will, like, go in in real time, analyze the game data, and it can 
simulate the vibration of the car, like the engine. Hey, thanks, Wolf. I know it's not an advertisement, but hey, if you want to support, there you go. Um, is it commonplace to wear shoes? No, not really, Taryn. I feel like more people lean to not wearing shoes. They do socks or nothing, but I have to because I have... Um, A resub from my wife. Thank you, Suba. Thanks, babe. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I have um, bone spurs in my feet. So I physically, if I walk on the hardwoods, it hurts a lot. So that's from 15 years of retail, Taryn. So just be ready. <laughs> Yeah. So, but anyways, the true force in this, enough of my feet, uh, the true force in this, it like in real time will read data from the game and you can, I know you can't visualize this without actually using it because I was like trying to myself, but you can feel the road. So like normally if, the, if it doesn't have true force, you know, you get vibration, you know, you're, it kind, it's very potent. Um, you can feel the edge of the road, you know, you can feel some of the bumps and stuff. But with this, you can feel the entire road. Like when you go over grooves, you can feel it. It's insane. So not all games have the true force support. But after I tried, uh, Grid had a demo and I knew Grid had it. So I ended up buying, it was on sale, 75% off. So I bought it. And then, uh... Dirt Rally 2.0 just added it, and I went and checked it out in the store. And it was 75% off, so I bought it too. So, but unfortunately, Forza doesn't have it. So I'm hoping that when we get the new Forza, that that they add that. But we'll see. But anyways, we're gonna race today. Um, I'm really bad at it, but it's really fun. So. Feel free to laugh at me and clip any of my fails and they'll go on TikTok. <laughs> and uh, and then later, depending on how I feel and stuff, we might do some Outriders or if no one wants to play, we can do some Stardew Valley. Forza! Hey Chevy! 10 more till my feet are messed up. So, uh, Taryn, it was like 15 years of, you know, you know how it is in retail. You're just on your feet all day long. And then I didn't have it until maybe seven years after. I didn't notice it. So it's like a delayed onset. You might be down for some Outriders. Well, I would love it. Uh, I had gotten into an area. I was doing, I was like following the story pretty good. And then I was like, I want to go back. And I went back to one of the earlier areas to catch. There was like a person, a wanted person. And I can't, I'm stuck. I either need to lower the world tier or give up. I was being stubborn. So yeah. Maybe I need to go back. I don't know. Maybe those guys are too. You could help. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you end up wanting to play, I'd be down. Keep an eye uh, for things breaking down. Yes, exactly, Taryn. All right. So uh, we're going to go into career. And I have all I've done is one or two races. Supa tried this out. I was like, you got to try this out. She came up here and got me an achievement. I was like, yo, hey, Sophista. But yeah, she got me an achievement. Uh, I was, I was, it was okay. I figured she's so good at everything that, uh, wait, touring stock tuner. Which part, of, should we do GT? Um, what part of the career should we do? I have a whisper. 
Oh, really? I had seen... Hey, uh, 8-Bit, have you heard much about the uh, inventory glitch that's happening in multiplayer in Outriders? I wonder if I should wait on that. Not that I probably have as much as you do. You got to a point that's difficult. You tried going back to do side missions. <gasps> the missions glitched and dashboarded you. You gave up on it. You haven't had any issues. I mean, I, I've done multiplayer and I haven't had any issues. I think I saw that if you have an issue at this point, you would get it back. Like, if it wipes. You haven't had any yet either. Hey, Saber, how are you doing? Play all the time and never experience the glitch. Okay. Yeah, so I can't say for sure, but we'll probably do that. I guess we'll just start at the top. Let's restart, because that was super. Okay, so I unlocked a, uh, a Subaru. You know, I love... As my, my friend calls it, he calls it the Lesbaru. For some reason, a lot of lesbians have Subarus. I don't know why. I don't know if it's like a scientific thing, but... I'm, it's high likely. <laughs> you would start with touring. Have you played this, Chevy? There's a workaround for the inventory bug. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is my first time playing this, so we'll see. Let me know if the uh, volume is too loud on anything. Uh, my mic is in a different spot than normal, so. Room. Hello, and thank you for joining us oh. here at today's Grid World Series event. Grid World Series? One of our drivers got lined up today. Yeah, Alex, there's some absolute powerhouse vehicles out there. Loud, fast, aggressive. That's okay, okay, enough talking. Time to crash. Subarus are very popular. <laughs> I don't know what it is about the Subarus. What is the deal with the Subarus? I don't know. All right. Yeah, so we'll play this for a little while, and then... I can't play this for super long periods of time. It requires a lot of muscles. It's exhausting. Hey, Wenda. Oh, your husband calls them Yubaru. You're, you're a butt. Wait, Yubaru's. You... <laughs> okay, I'm, I might miss a little chat while I'm racing, but I'll catch it back. Let's see. I gotta at least get out of last place. Oh no, we're in the grass. The Subaru Legacy from the 90s. We actually have a Subaru. We have the, uh... The WRX Wagon? <laughs> so I am on automatic. One day I will play this with, uh... Maybe by the time for the new Forza comes out, I'll be good enough to play a, a manual. Alright, here we go. We got it. We got a passy. I don't know who- do you guys know these racers? Are they real people? Supa's out back. Oh yeah, and she also had a uh, Baja for a little while. When I got with her, she she had the Baja. Oh shoot. We had a brief <laughs> We had a brief Fiat moment as well. That didn't last very long. Okay. Do you have a shifter? Okay, so you can buy like a physical shifter that would go next to you. Um, but this right here has shifters. You see on my hands? Like this little piece of metal behind here? You can just click it. It also does your LBRB when you're in the menus of the game. And then I've got a clutch on my feet on the far left. Yeah. 
flappy. Yeah. Yeah, when uh, the sidecar crew members bought me the first race wheel they sent me, well, Deimos added on a uh, stick shift. But I was like, hmm, I'm gonna return this and gift you back your money because I don't think I'll get much use out of it right now. We have the Impreza right now. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe that's what we have. The cross tech. So, Supa test drove the cross truck when we were getting our uh, oil changed or something. Oh no, they had to take the engine out. And she really liked the cross truck a lot. Paddle shifters, yes. Here we go. Hey, I did better on that curve. Oh boy. Fiat. Fix it again tomorrow. Her Fiat actually didn't have issues, but I don't know. It's small. And it doesn't have all wheel drive. Ah, <sighs> there we go. I can, yeah, in real life, Saber. I can drive manual just uh in game i'm just trying to stay on the road okay so we did this part uh gg what car do you have i know maybe it's a subaru impreza but it's not the wrx i i need to go look uh or just ask her Fast to slap. What did I get? Continue. You have a B. Oh, the BRZs are so uh, cool looking, Wanda. The only reason uh, Supa hasn't thought about getting yeah, one is because now. it's not all wheel. Hey, Sir Gamer. Tell me what's gonna happen. I have played well, Dirt 5 just barely. I did like one I race. It's all my to do. So I have grit. I got just got grid on sale. I got uh, dirt rally 2.0 on sale, and then um, I got dirt five on Game Pass. Whoa, no. Excuse me. Excuse me. I wish this was the drive -itars. I always liked, even though it was like a virtual, my virtual Xbox friends, it was still fun to smash into them. Wants to know if the wheel is smaller than a regular steering wheel. Um, I mean, I don't know about like a racing wheel, but compared to like a car, yeah. Like, cars I've driven anyways. Yeah. Yeah, it's smaller. But it doesn't feel like little kid sized either. Oh no! It looks smaller than your cars. Yeah, it's definitely smaller than a regular car. <clears throat> Alright people. You never learned to drive me. Yeah, I was seeing uh, yesterday, Wanda, that I learned to drive manual on a uh, test car. <laughs> like, you know how like you go to the dealership and they let you go take it out? Well, they didn't come with us. Whatever reason, my dad seemed trusting. I don't know. And then when we got far enough away, my dad switched seats with me. It taught me how to drive a stick on the car. They end up being, you know, the same model of car that I bought. I think they'd make the same size. Yeah, I don't know. I guess it could be bulky for some people. I don't know. I never, I didn't even think of that. 
I'm such a good racer. So I have vertigo and that's why I had to stop driving real cars and motorcycles. So I have the uh, racing line on. I don't have the braking line on, I don't think, but I leave the racing line on because it helps with my vertigo for some reason. If I don't have it, I get more dizzy. I gotta read chat. How do I read it? Excuse me. Ooh, I barely pulled out third. Achievement! First of many. I got my first career event. Uh, someone recently test drove a WRX. Oh, yeah? The ride was much rougher. I imagine the suspension on that is pretty stiff. Yeah, I'm, I'm remembering now. We don't have a WRX. We just have an Impreza. <clears throat> Manual cars are more common here. Well, after moving to... Oops, sorry. Moving to Seattle. I wouldn't get another stick shift again. Axel with the 10-month reset! Axel, thank you so much! 10 months! So glad to have been here for 10 months on Twitch. Just want to say I love this community. Oh, Axel, thank you so much. I appreciate you. You wonder if it's like having a spot when you do dance spins? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking, Sophista. Like it focuses my eye, my eyes, both of them, when I'm driving. It's almost like my eyes are like moving too much, almost like a jitter. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know. But like even like if I'm at a stoplight, sometimes I'll feel like I'm rolling backwards or forwards. I don't know. I'm weird. You think it was a disadvantage that you didn't learn earlier? Yeah, I learned as like a teenager cars automatic but living in seattle i wouldn't want to um stick shift anymore because the traffic is always so stop and go and then uh the hills i mean i did fine when i was driving but it is going good axel we got the racing wheel today look you can even see that i have feet look look a leg <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're gonna race and then we'll play something else later. Uh. Oops, sorry, I keep hitting that cam. I didn't, I was gonna put this wire, this wire, attach it and I forgot. Now I don't want to touch it. It took me too long to get it just right. I have feet! <laughs> you saw my TikTok? Yeah, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, I guess you're really race. Yeah, I mean, now I just got to get better at racing. Um. Wait. Oh, yeah, look at. Oh, I want to put a new. I want to put a new. Uh. Let's put a new uh, look on our car. Um, let's see, what's cute? Oh dear. Oh look, you can unlock more. I wonder what I have to do to unlock more. Do I just have to race more? Oh, that's ugly. Okay, let's start at the bottom. Stock. It's all about the fashion. Michael, how are you doing, Michael? <laughs> Moto has speed. <laughs> Ooh, let's do this one with the dragon. It could have been what I had before. I honestly don't remember. Okay, let's go. I don't know how this game works. Like, do we, like... We're just... We just go in a... 
align with the races? Welcome to today's event, and this is gonna be a good one. Kristen, you have to get one clip. Remember that story. time when yeah, Moto had feet? Yeah, you can change the perspective while driving. Um, let me see if I can remember what button it is. Yeah, so... You have the, the farther away view. We have the street level. I didn't do this because I didn't want to make people as sick. I like this view a lot too with the, like, on top of the hood of the car. Then you have, this is what I was doing. Then you've got this view where you can see the wheel. Oh! And then, you know, back to this view. It seems more realistic. Which one do you all like? Yeah, this one, uh, it is. If you're using the wheel, you'd like the inside. Yeah, like that. It feels like you're. It's more immersive this way. Make some gains in lap two. Hey, hold on. We got. Let's try not to wreck into everyone. Oliver. Oliver's always wrecking into people. Keeping your car to yourself. Can you hear my wheel? It's. It, it can get kind of noisy when you go off roading. You like third person? You use behind the wheel in the truck sims. I'll have to try a, a truck sim game. I feel like I have more troubles racing in this view. Something with it messes me up. In Forza, I can't do that view because you spin around and you're doing so many different things that I lose track of where I am. Oh my gosh. My arms get so tired playing this. You like this view? Alright, we'll leave it in this view for now because I don't want to make people sick. I don't know how I won that. I think the game was being nice. Ah, oh, thanks, Axel. Yeah, I have this uh, little stand thing that clips onto stuff, and it's been really handy for different things. Your earbuds arrived. Ooh, were was that the Logitech earbuds? Yeah, it's super handy. I've used it for like unboxings, this. I've used it to take selfies. <laughs> the, uh, where it grabs the camera, it looks like one of those hair clips. I don't know what they're called. Banana clip? No, not a banana clip. Just a little hair clip. So it'll clip onto just about anything. Echo cam? Well, yeah, see, it could be an echo cam if she could be trusted up here. The only way she could be up here yeah, is if into the final round now. I had her on her leash and had the bed right next to me. She's too interested in getting into everything still. She's getting better, though. Alright, goals for this race. Avoid well, Oliver or whatever his name is. Oh shoot. I didn't realize this is such a tight turn right here. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh shoot. Whoa. Oh no.
So, Chevy says that he has got the wheel to work on Forza Horizon 4. So, I'm going to try to get a cheat sheet for settings. Because in Forza, as soon as I go off-road, I can't race any- What kind of course is this? She might- Oh my god. Who are you there that day, Axel, when she ate my cord? Oh shoot. Oh shoot! Oh no! Oh no. Oh no. This is what I like. You remember that. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's try this again. Let's slow it down. Sergio, move it. I you get in trouble in this game for bumping into people. But I think playing Forza would be so fun on this. <laughs> Round two of Echo, the Offline Chronicles. Well, downstairs, um, still because of that event, we have this ugly, like, Amazon box that blocks some of the uh, cables because she's still kind of interested in that cable. So it doesn't look nice downstairs, but... I think you see them? Wait, what? Oh yeah, they're right here? This is the last lap. Or We're right here? So like... You have, uh... How do I pause? So, uh, I don't know if you can... You can't really see them very good. You got Y, X, A, B. Then you've got your menu. And your, uh, back button. These act as L, B, R, B. Or your shifting. Uh, you got your Xbox guide button, and then I haven't even used this stuff here, but it's something to do with, like, fancy clutch stuff that you can do. And then I don't know what these buttons do yet. This, it says LSB and RSB. I'm still learning. <laughs> yeah, but this is where, so, like, if I want to resume... But yeah, I figure we'll do racing streams here and there for like, you know, an hour or two and then switch to other games. I can't do it much longer, at least right now. My, uh, my back muscles and arm muscles get tired. Oh shoot, I'm doing so bad. This course is tough. There's a lot of tight turns and I'm always going too fast or too slow. He's not, let's rein it in. You push them over the edge here. You need one of these wheels. Oh. No problem, New Order. <laughs> I did so bad. That was a tough one. Yeah, I mean, one really awesome thing, you all know uh, Logitech has really been so nice, uh, like what, the last year and a half, almost two years. Uh, oh, I got penalties. Uh, supporting me, you know, whether it's like keyboards, mice, um, you know, and Astro as well, headphones, and now this. The cool thing is, is that by having these things, I can answer your questions because I actually know. I know about them, so. Thanks, Wolf. How does a wheel compare to using a controller? Oh my gosh, so much. It's so much more detailed, New Order. Um, compared to a controller. I mean, they do a good job on the controller with the vibration, but uh, the problem is, is that it's actually, I think, harder to race with the wheel. You would think it would be easier, but it's way more difficult. 